and today I'm going to be filming what I get up to. As you can see, I've already had a very early start this morning. I'm one client down and I'm just sat outside the studio. I've got my breakfast here, very glamorous on the go. I don't know if you'll ever see, but it's just some overnight oats, which for me is perfect. I can prepare the night before and I can have them now. Um, I've got a couple of clients in the studio this morning um, and then I'm going to do my own training session myself. I'm feeling a bit achy, a bit tight today. Um, I did a speed session yesterday and yeah, I just feel like I need to stretch out. I've also got a recovery run later, which is I think about 40 minutes I've got in the plan. So I've got to do that. But if you are wondering, um, I have a few days ago put out a training update video because I am in training for the Bedford Half Marathon. So if you want to check out how I've been getting on the last few weeks, um, I did do sort of an intro video to Bedford and what I was planning to do. And um, yeah, I've just given you a bit of an update on where I am with training and how I've been getting on. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave the link below. So yeah, you can go and have a look. Um, but today I've got quite a fair bit on. Um, so I've got clients, then I have a gap. Um, I'm gonna go home and do some admin work. I've got some training plans to write for some clients. Um, I've got a meeting with Rudy at the treatment lab, um, an exciting, exciting project we're gonna be working on. So more information about that to be revealed um, in the next few weeks and months, depending on how the meeting goes today. Um, then a sports massage with Rudy as well, which is really needed at the moment. Um, just, just need to stretch out. It's really, I think that it's, quite a good part of your training plan to have a sports massage, regular sports massage. People think that sports massage or going to see a physio is only needed when you're injured. However, that's not the case at all. So I'm just trying to look after myself. Um, maybe, I know this is really bad to say this on camera, but I'll try and get a nap in. I've had two four o'clock starts the last two mornings, so um, I'm getting a bit tired. I've got my core class tonight as well, so I just need to finalise um, the session plan for that. Um, teach the class and then we're having the couples come dine with me so you'll be able to see what we're serving and just I'll take you along for the evening really looking forward to seeing everyone um, and some sort of good food and company so have a good well tell you what have a good day but um yeah I am gonna crack on with breakfast I'm starving now and I'll catch up with you all in a bit I look like a boy with this hairstyle. Good. So this morning is done with clients. I'm now back at home and I'm just literally heading out the door for a run. Almost forgot to film this, but I thought I'd quickly get my camera out. So my hair is up, I'm ready to go. I am driving to, I know it's really lazy. It sounds lazy, but it's for a purpose. I'm driving to um, an estate nearby to mine and I'm gonna run down um, a pathway which is called the North Bucks Way. It's um, a bit easier on the ground, um, a bit softer, um, as my shin is kind of hurting today. Um, so just, and today's just a recovery run, so I'm just gonna do 20 minutes out and 20 minutes back. I've got my headphones, so I'm gonna take, just listen to some music, just enjoy it, and then I'm gonna get cracking with the rest of today, because I've got quite a long to-do list now. So catch you all later on. Back home from my run, which ended up being just under, I think, 42 minutes, and did 4.7 miles. Um, 
it was a good run and uh, it was meant to be an easy run today. My legs felt very heavy for the first few miles after my speed session yesterday but I sort of loosened up um, towards the end. Um, good for the shins, obviously we have gone on um, sort of softer ground but I am going to ice this afternoon and I'm just sat on the sofa. I've got my post run smoothie and for this um, I've in the, it's just been put in the Nutribullet and frozen banana, some protein powder, ice, a tiny dash of almond milk and a little slash of water and the consistency is lovely. So I'm just going to enjoy this, um, have a shower, crack on for some work um, and have some lunch later and then head out for my meeting this afternoon. So yeah, good day so far. I've been up for what feels like forever but yeah, lots to do today and cracking on. Just got that on film by the way. It's a little harder on dinner. There we have it, a day in the life of me, Clean Coach Katie. So I hope you all enjoyed the video as you saw. It was quite a full on day. Um, started off obviously very early, I had clients, I did my own trains, training session, more clients. Then I was here, there and everywhere, I was doing a bit more work and then um, yeah, Costa is my usual thing, so I like to go into a coffee shop and do some online work if I need to. Then had um, my sports massage, core class, and then obviously the evening with all my friends. And obviously the run as well, my own session. So that's what I love about my job now. It gives me the flexibility to sort of manage my own time and also just means that I have to sort of work my training around my work. But yeah, it was very good enjoyable day I've got a nice balance there between work and my own training and social life you've got a bit of insight into what I get up to in a day I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed the day myself and it's so good now that I feel like sometimes I don't actually call work work um, as I get to meet so many lovely people work with so many amazing clients and working towards different goals that they've got and that's what I just I absolutely adore about my job now is that they, people come to me saying either they're trying to lose weight, they're trying to get stronger, they're trying to get fitter or just feel more confident and I love being able to work with people and reach those goals with them within what I'm doing within the studio. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, there's quite a few more coming up in the next sort of few days. I've got um, some updates about, um, I'm going to do some about the Bedford Half, which I'm sure everyone's heard a lot about. Um, there's one coming up about Park Run, um, as last weekend, yep, surprised myself. And um, yeah, just more to come in the rest of, what are we now? Oh, it's at the end of August. So yeah, more to come in September. So thanks for watching today. Subscribe to the channel. 
and you'll get updates about when new videos are coming out and I'll catch you all in the next one.